One of the most common questions I get is what happened to your foot once they amputated it? What if I could answer it better than with just words? Hey, what's up you guys? I definitely stole Shane Dawson's intro because I've been watching his conspiracy theory videos all day. When I came across this piece of information, this is not a conspiracy theory video, but I feel like it's just creepy enough that it falls into that category. Maybe not, I could be way off base. Anyways, I have been combing through medical records all day and I am way too excited about this. I fully recognize that. I will admit to that right off the bat. But I came across this little tidbit of information while going through medical records. I have an appointment set up with a new surgeon this Wednesday, so tomorrow, and uh, he needs my surgical records. I have never bothered to look through my surgical files because why would I until today? And as I was combing through them, I found something I thought you guys might be interested in. Now, real quick, uh, if you are grossed out easily, or even not that easily, uh, just brace yourself, I guess. This kind of makes me feel a little bit queasy, but at the same time, it's so fascinating to me that I kind of power through it. One of the most common questions I get is what happened to your foot once they amputated it? Because, you know, this situation is going on. Where did it go? Like, what do they do with amputated legs? Now, I could just answer that question for you, but what if I could answer it better than with just words? That is what this document made me think could possibly be possible. Now, I doubt that that will actually happen, but I'll just let you read it. All right, here we go. Received in a biohazard bag without fixative label. Without fixative? Labeled? Huh. Don't you think it should have a label? I don't know. Anyway. Designated right below the knee amputation is a below the knee amputation of the right leg. I'm glad that that's what they had in the bag. It measures 23 centimeters from distal toe tip to heel, 20 centimeters from heel to anterior soft tissue margin, and 13 centimeters from heel to posterior soft tissue margin. Here's the part that gets a little gross. Though again, is really interesting. 20 centimeters of tibial bone extends proximal from the anterior soft tissue margin, essentially meaning that there was like a piece of bone sticking out from the rest of it, which makes sense because they want to keep a lot of that tissue on my body, not sawed off. So they cut the bone off, but then they're gonna like keep the tissue and fold it up, which is now here. Cause like the bone's here, and I'm not doing a good job of explaining this, but do you get it? Like they, they fold in my calf underneath. It makes sense that the bone would stick out of the amputated part, but that's really gross to think about just sitting there in a bag. The skin, soft tissue, and bone at the margin appear visible. There are five toes, that's good. All with intact nails. The skin over the dorsal foot and interior leg contains writing and blank ink. Yes, because as you guys know, if you watch my channel, my friends and I and my parents had a goodbye to my foot little ceremony uh, where people wrote goodbye messages to it, so I'm glad that they noted that. Uh, that tells me that it was indeed my foot that they wrote this message about. Here's the part that is really interesting to me because I know this exists somewhere. Gross photographs are taken. There are pictures of this somewhere. So many people have asked me like, did I get to take a picture with my foot? No, because I was unconscious and they were doing the amputation. Or did I get to keep it? No because there wouldn't really be a reason for me to. Some people can keep their legs for religious reasons, something like that. There are also stories of people who have kept them uh, just because. I'm not really sure under what cause, but this one guy had a foot party uh, and made tacos for his friends out of his foot meat. That's really gross. I would never do that to you guys, but also, Kudos to him if his friends knew what was going on, because you can't make your friends eat your foot meat with, I'm just gonna stop right there, this is really gross. Photographs of my foot were taken well after it was amputated, which means that those photographs are somewhere. Those photographs are not in my medical records, which honestly I'm grateful for because I really would not like to have come upon those unexpectedly. Yeah, because that would be very disturbing. I honestly wonder if I could request those. I don't know if I would put those up because I feel like that'd be super gross, but also I feel like a lot of people would be really interested to see them and you all have been a part of this journey so far already, I don't know, that might be a little too far. That might be a little too up close and personal. I'm guessing it probably would be. But at the same time, the internet is interested in everything. I don't know, maybe I'm just in a weird frame of mind today, guys, but this was so interesting to me. Cause you take photographs for a purpose, right? So they have to be saved somewhere. I wonder if there's just like a whole file of like photographs of amputated limbs sitting on someone's computer up at the hospital. I'm sure that there is. That is a weird thing to think about. I would love to get access to the hospital and take you guys on like a tour of where amputated limbs go. Because honestly, that is probably the most common question I've gotten on the videos that have like gotten millions of views. People wanna know what happens with it because that's something that you don't really think about until you're like, oh wait, 
someone's an amputee in surgery, what happened to the, the limb? What happened to the foot? Or what happened to the hand? You know, I get it. It's a confusing subject. I would be curious. I was curious. I know this is not at all related to my foot, but when I woke up from surgery, I told you guys that I was in a lot of pain because the nerve block didn't work. So basically I felt everything when I woke up from my amputation surgery. I got to see the records of that too. Like all the pain medication they gave me. Holy crap, they gave me a lot of fentanyl and hydromorphone, which is dilaudid, and ketamine in a very short period of time trying to get that under control. Like I knew that because they were worried that I was gonna stop breathing and Brian was really freaked out, but also it's weird seeing it all written down and kind of having some understanding of how much that is. So it's been a weird day of watching Shane's conspiracy theory videos and then realizing that there are photographs of my severed foot sitting somewhere in the internet system of the hospital slash someone's computer that maybe I could get someday. Do I want to get those? Does the internet want to see those? Would I show them? Questions to be answered on another day. I am a little nervous to ask, but I'm curious if anyone would want to see those. Obviously, I would put it out with lots of warning, but is that something that is interesting to people? Again, I'm not promising that I would do it if I could find them, because that might be a little too personal. I have a feeling it might be too personal. Maybe I wouldn't want to see it. Maybe that'd be a little too gross, but then again, it is my foot, so I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go back to watching Shane Dawson conspiracy videos. Shane, you're fantastic. Thank you for entertaining those of us stuck at home. I will talk to you guys soon. I look forward to your comments on this video. If you're queasy, I apologize for making your stomach churn. I too feel a little queasy knowing that there are photographs and that the bone was sticking out the top, but still, it's really interesting. All right guys, that is it for me. I love you, please take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you soon, bye.